I don't know why, but it makes him smile. I have no idea why. It can't be anything to do with the actions that you're making no, while it's okay. going on, Richard. Grimacing, grimacing. <laughs> on 2D Records for the 828 with uh, Tech Talk and Maddie Dickerson. Before we get to something I want to talk about, which is major, major, uh, what about that great story out of Canada where they pulled up a Tesla? Uh, it was travelling 150 kilometres an hour, no drivers apparently because the seats were reclined. The driver and the passenger were sleeping mm. at 150 kilometres an hour. They're not quite there with Teslas yet. The idea is that they are aiming towards fully autonomous driving, but they're not there yet. But some people choose to take advantage of the self-driving. And, and it gets worse than that because the Tesla will detect if you haven't had your hands on the steering wheel for a period yes, of time. Yeah. So people buy little clamps to put in the steering wheel to simulate I'm someone kidding. holding onto the steering wheel so they can recline and have a sleep. But that's, so, that's negating the entire issue. <laughs> you, you've hit the nail on the head. That's yeah, exactly that. right. So this is what people do. Again, the technology in them is fantastic, and they can be very safe when used sensibly, but guess what, Richard? This might come as a surprise to you. There are idiots in the world. There are not. Apparently. Oh, <laughs> but the, the cops, I thought, were very smart because they thought, hang on, this is a Tesla. It's doing... Sp we can't pull it up. So they drove past it and went in front of the car. And as you know... Yeah, they've got radar control, cruise control on the Tesla. Yep. So as soon as it detected a car in front, it slowed down to match the speed of that. And then when it got below a certain speed, the automatic driving turned off and the passenger had to be woken up because something was happening in there. But see, smart cops. Yeah, it was very clever. You know, the, the, so I suppose in the in the hick days of, uh, of Keystone Cops, I would have tried to run it off the road. <laughs> that's right. You've been watching too many, too many movies. Too many black and white ones. That's too. right. Amazing <laughs> stuff, isn't it? The Teslas. You were speaking about... Uh, uh, hands that can detect whether you've got hands on the wheel. Isn't there a watch now that can tell... Is it a watch that can tell you haven't uh, washed your hands? Yeah, so certainly the, the latest Apple Watch. and the it's latest, a watch. It's a watch. So basically what and it, it does... And it tells you if you've got dirty hands. It, well, no, not dirty hands, but when you start... It's a couple of things. When you start washing your hands, yeah. it detects the sound of the tap. So it works out this, this tap noise. This is the water. watch. This is the watch. And then when you detect your movement, so your, your hands start moving in a certain way, a countdown starts. So you've got 20 oh. seconds. So it's basically telling you, make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, COVID-19, and that's a way of just being aware of how long Is you're washing your hands for. Then? It's waterproof, yeah, 50 metre waterproof, yeah. Well, that, that, there's no such thing as waterproof. It's no, water resistant, water resistant to so 50 metres. But what does it do? And what happens? It just comes up, uh, I, I could show you after the, the session here, but it just <laughs> comes up on your wrist with a timer to count down 20 but seconds. you don't look at your watch when you're washing your hands. I take my watch off. Oh, do you? Well, you yeah. need to get a new watch. Well, you know, I, the winder will rust, I keep thinking. Oh, please. <laughs> winder. What's a winder? I mean, what happens if you don't do 20 seconds and they yell at you? Uh, it just comes up with a little alarm and just alarms it then. you. But it, no, it doesn't report you, but it also gives you nice little fireworks at the end of it if you get to your 20 oh, seconds. So, so it, get out It pats here. you on the back and says, well done. What, it pops a popper and goes, da, 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 da. Essentially, yeah. Well, who owns this? What is this? It's an Apple. Yeah, it's an Apple Watch. So the, the last couple of versions of it, if you upgraded the latest OS, will actually give you the hand washing on there. It's an Apple Watch SE, is that what it is? No, that's, well, so they announced that's two new Apple Watches this week, an Apple Watch 6 and an SE. The SE is the... What's the 6? The 6 is the latest, the SE is the budget version. Does it tell a time? Apparently it will do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It is it? amazing. And they are Dick Tracy watches as well. They've got a, yeah. a phone built into them, so you can actually just hold the wrist you to, you, to your hand, uh, mouth you and see, talk. you talking about old things. Dick Tracy had one. But Dick Tracy. Right. Dick Tracy was not a cartoon. It was a futurist it magazine. It certainly was. It's a, have they done a movie? Yeah, they did do a movie. They did do a movie, yeah. As well. yeah. And Max Will Smart with his... Uh, Shoe? Shoe phone, that's shoe right. Shoe phone. Have you got one of them? I haven't got a shoe phone. No, the yeah. wrist phone will do me. Yeah, so this watch does tell you if you haven't done your hands at 20 seconds. I haven't done 20 seconds but of hand washing. But that could only be a current app because that will go in time, won't it? Correct, yeah. That's only a, a Have you got to set it before you wash your hands? Uh, you just turn it on or turn it off and it automatically works out that 20 seconds is what you need to do. So you've actually got to physically turn it on and tell you, I am now washing my no, hands. No, no, sorry. You turn on the feature. And then once it's on, it's on every time All you wash time. your hand, automatically it just picks it up and away it goes. How does it know you're washing your hands? By the by the sound of water and the movement of your hands. Right, okay. Yeah, so it looks for those two and things. It goes for 20 seconds. Yeah, and I've tried it. I've experimented with it. I've tried no. moving my hand without the, the sound of water and it won't do it. Oh, really? Couldn't you go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh? whoosh. Well, I haven't, I haven't been able to simulate water sounds enough. Oh, Matthew Dickerson, you're insane. <laughs> you just get something. Space, I talked to Brad Tucker from Mount Stromlo, our uh, space nut. He's an astrophysicist. And this, this ray of uh, satellites, another 60 or something, were launched from Cape Kennedy yesterday. 
This is all Elon Musk, SpaceX, mm -hmm. and it's going to add up to 1,440 telecommunication satellites up there in space. Correct. I said to him, could this make our current communication satellite uh, satellites obsolete, could it? Well, absolutely. And the, the big advantage you've got with the SpaceX system, as you say, 1,440 satellites. They're That's five, a lot of satellites. It's a lot. But the reason they have to have a lot is because they're what's called low Earth orbit satellites. So these sitting about 550 kilometres above the Earth. When you look at this, the broadband satellite that we have for NBN in Australia, it's terrible service because the satellites sit at 35,786 kilometres. Mm. And what that means is every time you do something, speed of light, speed of electromagnetic waves, 3 by 10 to the 8 metres per second, you've got this huge bit of latency because it's got to go so far up and down. The big advantage of the, and the reason they need 1440, is because they've got them close to the Earth. So it means if you do make a phone call or you're using the internet, you don't get that huge amount of latency. It's only got to travel 550 kilometres up, 550 kilometres back down to Earth. So that's a huge advantage, which means, I think, where you're headed is that not only could it be internet service for the whole world, but it could be telephone service yes. for the whole world. Because yes. at the moment, if you make a satellite phone call, it's terrible. You say, hello, and you wait, and there's a pause of a second, Not and no one's one. answered. No, because they're so close to the Earth. Could it make satellites obsolete the ones we know? Not so much satellites obsolete. Satellites used for a whole range of other things, but it could make lots of telecommunication providers struggle with their service because suddenly, don't worry about your, your nearest tower, yeah. you just have to be able to see the sky. You better, better smarten up. Elon Musk and SpaceX is on his way. He thinks big, doesn't he? He does, he does absolutely. Too. Matthew Dickerson, wash your hands. I will. <laughs> I can make a swooshing sound. <laughs> 20 seconds. That's the only thing I use with my hands. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, yes, uh, it's uh, 8 o'clock. That's silly. <laughs>